<laughs> Welcome back to Good Morning BU. We are joined in Studio East by Mayor Thomas Menino. Mayor Menino is the city's longest serving mayor. He served us five terms in City Hall and now he's joining us right here at Boston University as the co-director of the Initiative on Cities. Welcome. Great to be with you guys. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Thanks for so, me. We're so happy to have you. So we'd like to start today by discussing yesterday's tragedy um, in the city. Obviously the loss of two of our own Boston firefighters. Do you have a message for their families and for yeah, the Boston yeah. Fire Department? I had some prayers go out to the families. I mean, just, uh, you know, three little kids lost their father yesterday. You know, and, um, but firefighters do that every day. They answer the call and ask questions why or how come. They go out and do their job, and these two individuals were doing their job, and um, they made a supreme sacrifice. We have to be supportive of the firefighters and uh, all they do. Uh, because they do a great job in Boston. And so I just want to say that um, they'll get all the support they need, but uh, our prayers are with that family. Those two families, and uh, so young, too. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And how do you find the strength to lead the city and keep a brave face while you're dealing with a tragedy like this? Well, you know, I've done this several times when I was, when I was mayor. Um, you got to show strength. And, uh, yeah, the mayor show leadership. May have to be calm in these situations and be able to communicate with the public almost on an hourly basis, tell them what's happening and keep them informed of the situation. That's what the, happens in these, you know the marathon? My job was to keep people calm and tell them what was going on all the time. That helps a lot of us um, get through those difficult situations. Yeah, you definitely are the one that channels kind of the city's grief. And so last year when the marathon happened, the, co uh, the term Boston Strong came out. What are your thoughts on it? Well, I think uh, Boston is a more resilient city, a stronger city since uh, the marathon bombing. I, you know, I was mayor of 20 years. I never saw the city come together as well as it did that, uh, that week and just continues to be strong. The one fund which we set up uh, raised $61 million. Incredible. And it was distributed eight weeks, and now we got another $13 million. We'll have more uh, revenues for the survivors of the um, uh, bombing. Uh, but I think, you know, to me, Marathon Weekend is the best weekend of the year. Absolutely. It's a great weekend. All, everybody's there having a good time, family, you know, college students. Everyone's having a fabulous time that weekend. And to have these two individuals destroy people's lives, I'm still asking why. Uh, why would they do this? How, you know, how demented could they be? And how angry can they be? And, uh, yeah, but I will change in 9 11. You know, terrorists became a fact of life. And I will change forever since then. We have to be, I mean, cognizant of that. And we have to be aware of that. But we can't, we have these major events. We still can't make them in police state. You have to enjoy yourselves. You know, like, that's why I'm worried about the marathon. I want people to enjoy themselves at the marathon. Come and do what they did in the past years, you know. All the co all your college students up in the on um, Commonwealth Avenue, Kenwood Square, just having a good time. So would that be what your message for the following um, this year's marathon? Is that what you would hope for people? I hope that people come to the marathon, enjoy themselves, uh, and cheer on the 36,000 runners who are um, running the marathon. Absolutely, and and Mayor Walsh has some pretty big shoes to fill. Your shoes don't look that big, but they are. <laughs> so well, how do you feel about his, his time in office so far? I think my, he's, uh, has, um, he's a good guy. I think he's, um, his heart's in the right place. And um, he'll make the move the city forward. And uh, I'll be as supportive as I can to him. Um, tough job being mayor. You know, you, when we look at yesterday morning, he started off doing one thing, and he had a tragedy. Things change. As many, every hour, an hour almost. Mm -hmm. You never know what's going to happen. You might have a um, tragedy like he had yesterday. Tomorrow you'll have something else happening. But also, as these tragedies and, and incidents happen, you also have to run city government. Right. You, know, you have, <laughs> have 630,000 people live here, a million two who work here. And you know that's all important. How do you make the city move forward? And that's the challenge mayors have. But I think Marty Walsh can do it. Good. 
Well, I'm sure he's very happy to have your support. And I just want to take a moment to officially welcome you to BU. I'm sure the transition has been a little bit difficult, and I'm sure your office in City Hall was far more beautiful than Bay State, but it's a nice <laughs> view, right? Oh, no, Bay State is nice. I have a very right? nice office, Bay State. Beautiful view. Oh, yes. I to when spring ever comes, it'll be beautiful and the trees <laughs> blossoming. Absolutely. Looking out to the Charles River. Wow. Oh, yes. Perfect. Better view than I had City Hall. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. We like to hear that. Um, but please tell us what it is that you're doing here on campus and uh, what students can do to get involved. Well, an issue on City is a, is a concept that uh, President Brown and I came up with. It's about mentoring mayors all over the world, not just in America, but all globally. And we're going to have a conference in November, bringing mayors from all over the world, we hope talk about some issues that are important to them and important to our future. And what we want to do is, that, you know, as mayor, you educate, you know, you get elected, but then you're thrown into that thing and you have to govern. And how do you prioritize what you're going to govern? Mm -hmm. I always think finance is the most important thing you do as mayor because if your finances work, your city works. Right. If your finances work, you have public safety, you have education, all that. If you don't have the money, you can't do it. It's easy to do. You just got to pay attention to it. And so I want to mentor a lot of these mayors because, uh, you know, what's happening now, the federal government's not a partner anymore. Mm -hmm. State government's not a partner. All the emphasis is on urban areas around the world. And we'll make sure the mayors understand their job and how they do the job well. That's, that sounds very exciting. I'm involved in the political science department, and I am so upset that I'm graduating this year because I would have loved to be more involved. You're going involved. to the real world now, huh? I'm going to the real <laughs> world. But I just want to take take a second to ask, how are you? How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, Good. Different lifestyle. Uh, you Definitely. Know, <laughs> when you're mayor, you have, uh, you know, every 15 minutes you do something different. At the university, you, you know, you take a little longer to do things. But uh, I enjoy, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the young people. Uh, like today's, I have office hours at 4 o'clock, and they come, a lot of students come by, and um, different issues they have at the you know, East Campus, West Campus. Yes, that's, I, that's an issue I never knew about. Is I, that an issue? Well, I, it's, some of the students are telling me it's an issue. <laughs> Whoa. Another group came to me um, uh, about uh, Venezuela. They were part of a group mm -hmm. on Venezuela. Mm -hmm. So all the different issues, and I talk about some of the issues I'm interested in uh, to get feedback from the students because, you know, you young the folks here are the future. Right. And we have to make sure the government is dealing with the future, not the past. And I want to listen to them and find out what they're all about and um, get them involved. I'm sure a topic on everyone's mind in the city right now is when is it going to warm up after one of the coldest winters we've had here in a while? It's been a tough winter. It really has. Um, you know, today's, what, 27 degrees out oh, there? Yeah. Supposed to go up to 42. Then 55 tomorrow. Then I like how you know this. So <laughs> hold on tight and li stay with us and please help us give the weather forecast. All right. Sounds good. So we'll see you after the quick break. Welcome back to Good Morning BU. And Melissa, why don't you share with us the weather? I'm sure you already know the weather, but we'll tell everybody else. Right, so today it's 44 degrees with partly sunny skies, and tomorrow we'll finally be getting some warm weather. And Mayor Menino, do you want to read that? It says it's, we're going to have a high of 57 degrees. What do you think? That's not bad. Not bad. We're still going to two days to you know, get a little more warmth than uh, <laughs> our bones. Uh, but then, then look at Sunday. Yep. Sunday's going to get cold once again. and. Uh, 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 rain, raw. Unfortunately, we'll only be keeping with 50 degrees over in the weekend. But um, hopefully by next week, things will start warming up again and we can hope for that spring. Well, next Friday, the Red Sox ho ho home on up. Yes. Oh, huh. What do we yes. think? If we all cross our fingers at the same time, maybe it'll be sunny in 50? Oh, more than 50. <laughs> 60. 60. 66. 65. <laughs> 65. <laughs> we want 70. A that is Two right. for the stars. That's the <laughs> ideal weather. Um, and ca can you believe that Brooke just announced earlier that she had been a Yankees fan before, but since her time in BU, she's become a Red Sox fan. Don't at She's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> she went through with a winner, that's why. <laughs> no, she switched winner. teams because the Yankees, where they go last year? Yeah, yeah. Eh, nowhere. Nowhere. And uh, the Red Sox won the World Series, so now she's with us. And if, if the season goes bad, she'll be back with the Yankees. No, she's, uh, she's no one way. of those individuals. I'll keep her, I'll <laughs> no keep her accountable. I'll my keep whole her family, accountable. my whole family went with me to what we used to refer to as the dark side, which was the the Boston Red Sox side. But Ooh. now the Yankees are the dark side, and I have a lot of Boston Red Sox hats. I can't get rid of them now. <laughs> I have to keep a little piece of Boston with me always. Where are you from? I'm from Connecticut. 
And I'm, I'm from Miami, Miami, Florida. Miami, Florida. What are you doing yeah. up here? Come out back home. <laughs> <laughs> thank so you. Warm. Thank you so much for being with us today, Mary Menino. We really appreciate all of you guys for sticking around and watching. And that's all for Good Morning BU today. Make sure to tune in with us. Next.